Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kordash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a lesson and Lord willing share a brief article with you, Aki Amanakwaf, that came across my feed. Uh, last night while I was uploading to my uh, backup channel. And uh, I was going to click out of it, you know, but the spirit moved me to read into it a bit. You know, and it's pretty much going into, uh, you know, these, these several, um, the several uh, countries around the world. And we'll get into it when we get the article. But they're actually advising their citizens uh, to travel with caution. You know, if traveling to... Uh, Mystery Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And, you know, when you meditate on this through the spirit, you know, here it is. America, right, was once coined as the land flowing with milk and honey. You know, a place where these foreigners uh, wanted to come and make all types of money and pretty much reach the pinnacle of their success. And now, you know, they're being told not to come here. <laughs> they're being advised to really not to come here because of the gun violence. You know, which gives credence to, um, you know, the downward spiral that this place has taken. Which is beautiful. <laughs> you know, this is evidence, more evidence that, you know, Babylon has fallen. You know, so through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get into before we grab this article real quick. Let's go to Obadiah. And Lord willing, this is not going to be long. You know, straight to the point. Uh, the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, the only chapter, in verse 2, right? Check out the heading. Edom will be humbled. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, will be humbled. Okay, the proudest creature ever created. You see, we're coming into the time where you're going to be humbled, man. And your humbling is going to come in the form of the destruction that's written to come upon this place, man. In the form of those 200 million warheads, man. And ultimately, you being thrown headfirst into captivity, man, in the eon to come. The book of Obadiah, Salakia, the book of Obadiah, uh, chapter 1 and verse 2, and it reads, Behold. I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, right? If we're living in a time where these nations, hey, they're no longer taking a stance of, of allowing you to, you know, bully them. You know, that in the form of the BRICS nations, hey, they're showing you how they fail. You know, that word despise goes into hate, man. And you can see it in the stance of these nations that they have a disdain, okay, for Babylon the Great. Hey, and even her allies and her aren't seeing eye to eye. You see, which is also going to fulfill the prophecy of her allies turning on her. You see, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, he's, he's making good on his word. <laughs> he's making good on his word. And when you get this word small, in the blue letter, Strong's H, 6996, Catan, Catan, Gesenius Lexicon, Catan, Catan, second entry, Caton, Caton. It goes into what? Young, small, right? Insignificant, unimportant. You see, here it is. This place used to be front and cinema, okay? These nations used to follow the lead 
<laughs> to a Babylon the Great. You see now, hey, it's looking quite contrary, man. They're being advised not to come to this place because of the violence, man. Because this place is plagued. See, Babylon the Great is plagued. It's plagued with the Momo spirit. <laughs> you see, it's plagued with violence. You see, hey, it's plagued with all the blood, okay, that this place has spilt. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai has this place on his crosshairs, man. And for those of you joined unto this place in the coming days, man, as Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai continues to visit this place, hey, you jakes are through. You jakes are through. It's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that can't let this place go, man. You want to establish yourself here, even though you're, you're, you're trying to establish it, establish yourself to a sinking ship. Anyways, now this is from Yahoo News, and it's dated May 17th, 2023. So it's from yesterday. And the title reads, What other countries say about the gun violence problem in the U.S.? Mass shootings in the U.S. are once again on the rise, and countries around the world are taking notice. You see, here it is. Nations around the countries around the world are taking notice to the violence, and you still got Jake <laughs> hey, trying to get uh, a career going here, man. You know, not to say that being successful is a bad thing, you know, getting where you fit in, but that can't be all your mind is focused on. And for 230, you Jakes, that's the case. You locked in, okay, to Babylon. And that's why this place is going to be your demise, man. At least seven nations, and that's the spirit, seven, which goes into what? Completion, right? Have issued advisories to their citizens who intend on traveling to the U.S., citing serious safety concerns in recent years. New Zealand. Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom, her mom, that's the spirit, right? France, Venezuela, right? Uh, Urigawi, right? Have each urged precaution for travelers when visiting the U.S. due in large part to gun violence. Hey, and it's going to get way worse. It's going to get way worse, man. <laughs> hey, what do you think that whole... Uh, Title 42, Gate 42 being open is about, man. It's going to get way worse, man. You know, the violence is going to ensue. You know, because when you take a glance into history on how this place was established, you know, it was established off of violence and hate, man. And a lot of that violence and hate was perpetrated towards the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hey, and hey, it's gonna it's reaching its perfection in the days to come. Evil and only evil is coming to Babylon, man. This is why we're telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get out of Babylon. Okay, to get the hell out of Babylon. No. I'm not talking about literally, okay, for you flee the African uh, red pill bugged out niggas. No. Okay, we're talking spiritually. You have to spiritually disconnect from Babylon. Let's go here. Let's go to Jeremiah. That's pretty much the point on the article, right? The book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 6, and it reads... Flee out of the mess of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. See, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Get yourself together. Return back to your power in spirit and in truth. Okay, this is how you're going to be able to flee out of the midst of Babylon. Okay, you have to disconnect that spiritual connection you have with this place. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you're washed by this word. But we understand only one third of our people are going to do so. 
The rest of you are going to get caught up in the calamities that are written <laughs> to spring forth on this land, man. And throughout all four corners of the earth. by primar But primarily right here in Mystery Babylon the Great. This is going to be the melting pot. All right, for those scourges, man. Be not cut off in her iniquity. See? For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, man. He will render unto her a recompense. And guess what? If you're still joined unto this place, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, upon the time of the Lord's vengeance being executed, you're going to be thrusted through with it. Okay, pursuing the Isaiah 13 and 15. You have to completely commit, okay, to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. If you still get a bubbly feeling in your stomach around the time of December 23rd, hey, you haven't fully disconnected from Babylon, man. You see, spiritually, man, you have to disconnect spiritually, man. And the only way that's going to be accomplished is if you're washed by this word, man. Because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is going to render unto her what? A recompense, man. And when you get this word, recompense, Recompense. It goes into what? Let's get a. Uh, let's get the noun. We want the noun, right? Compensation, right? Or, or reward given for loss or harm suffered or effort made. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, let's get some similar words. Recompense. Uh, uh, Salakia. Compensation. You see, hey, reparations. You see that? Reward, repayment for everything that these people have done. All the blood that's on that spilled on this land of the Israelites, man, that has to be paid back. You see? It has to be paid back. It has to be reimbursed, man. Hey, restitution. <laughs> What's that, Job? According to her substance, to his substance, shall his restitution be? What's that, Job 20? Let's go get that real quick. We'll come back. We'll come back to Jeremiah 51. Um, what's that? Job 20. Or Job 21. No, it's Job 20. The book of Job chapter 20 and verse 18. It reads, that which he labored for. Shall he restore. You see. And shall not swallow it down, man. All this, hey, all, hey, all this gold, silver, precious jewels and stones that you damn demons are, are, are hoarding up in your in your uh, chambers, hey, <laughs> you're gonna have to restore that. All you're doing is keeping it warm for Yasha Allah, man. That's all you're doing, right? According to his substance, show his restitution be. And we know this demon has a lot of substance, man. He's going around the four corners of the earth, stealing it all. Killing, raping, robbing, bombing. Okay, people for uh, nations for uh, substance, their substance, man. You see, but guess what? According to his substance, show the restitution be the repayment, the reimbursement, man. You got a lot to pay for, man. This is why this place is dwindling, man. And he shall not rejoice therein. Let's get a little more. Why, Lord? Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. Who's the poor? Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? Because he hath violently taken away a house which he builded not. <laughs> hey, what did, what did this do? What did this devil, right? Cristobal Colon do when he came over here? Rape. Robbed and murdered, okay? The so-called Native Americans, man. You see? <laughs> and him and his cohorts. Because we know that devil only made it to um, uh, Central America, right? And Southern America, mainly. You got that devil, Americoville Spucci. You know what I mean? That devil. 
You know what I mean? Played a part in the oppression of Jake. All right, and the English and the rest of those Europeans. Hey, you guys got to pay for that, man. You got to pay for almost committing genocide on the Native Americans, man. For breaking all those treaties, man. Every single one of them. You got to pay for that. You got to pay for that. Let's go back to that Jeremiah 51. This is why this place is diminishing. You see? And it's being met with violence, man. How this? That's, that's how this place is going to go down. Pursuing the Jeremiah 18 by violence, man. Hey, scripture goes into how the Lord, hey, with the forward, he shows himself forward, man. You see? And you've been nothing but forward. That's why you're being visited with these strange calamities, man. These strange judgments, man. And it's just going to get stranger. And it's going to get worse. Let's get more. Right? Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon, right, hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The, <laughs> man, you see that? And what's in that cup? What makes you drunk, man? Not, you know, you, it's got to be what well, you would think an alcoholic beverage, right? But that's not talking about that, man. Hey, this is going into the philosophies of this demon, man. His ways of life. You see? His abominable ways, man. That's why when you go into the book of Isaiah 14, it goes into how he's weakened the nations. How? With his ways, man. With his philosophies. You know? That's why the nations have drunken and what? They're drunken of her wine, right? The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Because they, they come to the conclusion, hey, that this whore is no good. Her ways are making us weak. See, they're coming to that conclusion, man. That covering cast, okay, that has been placed over the nations, hey, it's being removed. Okay? Hey, how is it being removed? By the servants, through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, by the servants, the prophets preaching his words, man. That's how. Matter of fact, let me go get that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25, kind of, I'll start at verse 7. In verse 7, and it reads, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And how is he going to do that? How is Yahweh Bashim Yahushua going to do that? Do his servants the prophets? Because what are his servants the prophets doing? Preaching the Bible. Preaching the truth of the Bible, which what? Uncovers the truth of who these nations are, man, and who Esau is, and who we are. You see? Ammon, okay? The so-called Japanese, hey, that that those are the Ammonites, man. You see? The so-called Chinese, that's Moab, the Moabites. These Africans, hey, that's Ham. That those are the Hamites. Hey, this information has been exposed by the servants, the prophets, through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? And that's just one of many things. Matter of fact, let me, let me, um, let me get this real quick. Let me get, I need to get this word cover real quick. In the blue letter. Covering. Strong's H, 3875. Lot. Lot. Lot, right. Covering, right. Envelope. Right. When you put something in an envelope, right, you can sail it, right? Um, covering, veil. Let's get the root word. Let's see what we got here. Strong's H, 3874. Loot. Loot. Loot, right. To wrap closely or tightly. Right? And right, right, he's tightly hidden the truth, man. <laughs> he, he, he has that veil tightly wrapped around the faces of the people, man. 
to where they're calling themselves bywords and proverbs, man. And got them wearing three piece suits. Right in rap, right envelope. Let's see what the lexicon says. Um, let's see what the Here we go. Here we go. See? Too high to wrap up. Ready? Hey, hiding, hidden, secret. You see, hiding. He's hid the truth with that veil, with that covering cast, man. Secretly, you see? To do secretly. And this is what he has done with that wine, man, through his wine. <laughs> You see that? Hey, this is a... We're, we're dealing with a smooth criminal, man. And this is what you people are going to find out. Hey, we're dealing with a smooth criminal. This damn devil smooth, man. And he's been given the power to do that. When he came... Hey, when he came out of the uh, pit... What's the same? Let's, let's, let's go get it. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, real quick. And we're going to go back to that Isaiah 25. Right? Revelations 20, real quick. When he came up out of the pit, I'm going to go straight to the... Now, matter of fact, I'm going to start up and jump down. Right? The book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 1, right? And this is uh, John the Revelator, right? While he was on the Isle of Patmos. Right? And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. And the great chain in his hand, right? And that angel, hey, that's Yahweh Shai. Because when you read Revelations 1 and 18, it goes into, Yahweh Shai said, red letter, right? He has the keys to death and hell. You see? And that bottomless pit represents uh, Europe, man, right? And that great chain represents what? You being put into captivity. Right. And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent. Right. The old serpent. What serpent? The same serpent from Genesis, the third chapter that beguiled Eve, man, which is a nation of people. OK. The seed of the wicked. OK. Which modern day time is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. <laughs> you see? Hey, uh, the serpent that beguiled Eve. Right. Right. That same seed came out in Cain. How do we know that? Cain is the first documented murderer, man. Being that he killed his brother Abel because he was jealous of his sacrifice over his. What did the Lord do to Cain? He mocked him. Okay, he mocked him. What was that mark? Leprosy. Okay, the Hansen's disease. Okay. How did Esau come out? Genesis, just jump all the way up to Genesis 25. When Esau came forth, how did he look? He was red all over, man, because his blood comes forth, because he has no pigmentation, because he's a leper. He's a clean leper. And look how this man's operating throughout the four corners of the earth. Look what he's doing. Look how adverse he is to our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his people. Hey, this is why we say he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, man. 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, goes into all his works of the works of Satan. Let's continue on. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, you see? And bound him a thousand years. And that thousand year period was from 350 AD to about 400, give a, give a little over 400 AD. Uh, Salakia, 1400 AD. Okay? This man was bound for a thousand years. They call this period the the... The time of the Moors, right? They call they also call it the Dark Ages. You see, it's when Jake was ruling, man. All right? And cast him into the bottomless pit, right? Which is Europe, right? Why? Because Europe lacks, re uh, lacks resources, man. You know? It lacks any real resources. It has to get all everything, you know, most of its stuff imported. You know? <laughs> it, it lacks resources. Right. And shut him up and set a sail upon him. Right. That he should deceive the nations no more. 
You see, this is what he does. He deceives the nations, right? Till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And we're living in his little season right now. We're at the tail end of his little season where he's about to be moved out the way. You see, let's jump down to verse seven. And when the thousand years are expiring, right? Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And that was, when did that happen? The Renaissance period, which that word Renaissance goes into rebirth. Okay, this was right around the 1400s, man. A little after 1400 AD. This man came back into, it came back into, uh, a position where he can deceive the nations, man. Hey, why do you think, <laughs> hey, this man was printing, all right, uh, printing mass uh, images of Caesar Borgia, man. Hey, it's not a coincidence that the printer press came out in the 1400s. Look it up. Look it up. You see? Because, hey, prophecy had to be fulfilled. Okay, this is him. This is when he's beginning to cover up the faces of the judges, man. You see? And lie and create a false doctrine and create the slave Bible. You see? And she'll go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. See? Job 9 and 24. The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. He cover up the faces of the judges thereof. See? See? This is exactly what this man did. <laughs> the Bible is undefeated. The Bible, the scriptures are undefeated. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai's word is faithful and true. Right? This is exactly what he did. Let's read from the top. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. And this is why the nations were drunk, man. He laid the cover, he laid that covering cast, that veil over the nations by his deception. To the point where these nations really think that he that he's hey, he's some type of God, man. Hey, they, they calling themselves the bywords and proverbs that he gave them. See? Hey, Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle. Which is Russia, Gog and Magog, right? To gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, because ultimately Russia is gonna lead the charge. Okay, and attacking Babylon the Great. You see? Russia's gonna lead the charge, the bear. Okay, as coined and uh in the Holy Scriptures. Let's go here. Let's go back to Isaiah. I gotta go back here. I don't wanna forget. Isaiah 25. In verse 7 again, I'll read down. We'll probably close out here on verse 8. And he will destroy in uh, Isaiah 25 and 7, and it reads, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Again, how is the Lord doing this? By his servants, the prophets. Because the servants of prophets are bringing forth this truth. And it makes sense. It makes sense. See? No lie is of the truth. Verse 8. Isaiah 25 and verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory. See? And who's death? Esau, Edom's likened unto death. Pursuing the Habakkuk, the second chapter. Let's go get it real quick. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 5, this is the spirit. Yeah, also, matter of fact, let me start up. Ver Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 4, and it reads, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up. Okay, this is talking about Esau eating the so-called white man. It's not upright in him. See? Because he's a proud demon. His soul's lifted up. He's, he's pumped up with pride. But guess what? His soul, okay, is not upright. It's lifted up, but it's not upright. He's a crook serpent, and he speaks with a forked tongue. And he only, he, he loves wickedness, man. Scripture says, Proverbs 4 says, they don't sleep unless they cause something to fall, man. 
If he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. See? But the just shall live by faith. And then the just is the elect. Hey, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number, man. Habakkuk 2 and 5, and it reads, Yeah, also, because he transgresseth by wine, who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That wine being his philosophies, man. Okay? His ways of life, which equal death. Okay? He is a, he is a proud man. This is That proud is a buzzword for evil E. That's how we know it's talking about him. Neither keepeth at home. Right. Who has a garrison in everybody else's country? Go look it up. You're going to find out that Babylon the Great has over 800 garrisons throughout the earth. Who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. You see? And cannot be satisfied. Right. He's a, co he's a covetous man. Okay. He's a covetous man. Okay, which when you go into that word rapacious, okay, which is a which is a similar word, um, when you look up this word covetous, it goes into um, aggressively greedy. You see, aggressively greedy. This man will hurt you for your substance, man. And he's showed that quality. He's shown that he's shown that trait. This is a dangerous, covetous, bloodthirsty man, man. But the beautiful thing about it is that Yahweh Shai is about to come take this man and move him out the way. Okay? But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And he was able to do that through his deception. As we just read it in Revelations, the 20th chapter. He was able to do that through his deception. Through that veil. That covering cast that he laid, that's now being risen. Let's go back to Isaiah 25 and close out. The book of Isaiah chapter 25. In verse 8, and it reads, He will swallow up death and victory and the Lord power will wipe away tears from off all faces in the rebuke of his people. See that? In the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. See? No longer are we going to have to bear this shame. <laughs> you see? Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to take away, okay, that rebuke that's upon us, man. Right? For the Lord hath spoken it. You see? Meaning what? It's going down, man. It's etched in stone. Hey, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's gonna be executed, man. Hey, so I say all that I say all that to say this. And here it is, these nations are seeing this place for what it is, man. You know? <laughs> Giving their people the heads up. You know, I'm traveling over here to Babylon, man. It can very well cost you your life. Okay? This is a sinking ship. And it's going to completely be submerged in the days to come. It's imminent. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has this place numbered, man. And for you so called Negroes, Latinos that can't see it, hey, you're going to just be fuel for the fire. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edifying. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Kal halalim la Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash, Shalom.